Welcome viewers to the Premier Inn North in Blackpool. This is a standard room. I paid £250 for three nights here. Friday, Saturday and the Sunday. It's kind of mid-range hotel. You can get a lot cheaper in Blackpool. Standard of accommodation is pretty decent. I'll show you the room. And the uh, location I thought was brilliant. I'll let you know my thoughts. So it's a standard double room. But we have got an extra bed in this room. I don't know whether they've upgraded this to like a wee family room. I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm just checking out. So the um, the beds not might not be as uh, neat as they were before. <laughs> That's all I can say. So we've got a wee desk, table and chairs here. Big TV. Tea and coffee facilities. Essential, isn't it, viewers? For all the guys who like a wee cup of tea and coffee when you wake up. Just got a wee bit here for your clothes here, hanging up, fine, no problems there. Uh, St Talbot Road this one, location wise I really like it, now be aware, it's just across the road from the Little Black Pug, which is a really good pub actually, my um, live music, let's see if I can show you, don't know if I can get right there, that's it, just right at the corner there. It's a good bar, there's a really good band on last night, I think they're called Prime Mover, absolutely brilliant. Round the corner to the left we've got the Soul Suites, and up to the right at the end of the road there, just two minute walk, we've got Mark Ellie, so a really good location for live music. Would I stay here again? Definitely I would stay here again if I was coming back to Blackpool. No, no problems with this accommodation. The Trilogy nightclub is across the road, so you might hear a wee bit of noise from that. Only really one night, I thought it was quite loud. The other nights I didn't really hear it. But standard of accommodation, I think it's pretty decent. We've got a hairdryer as well, so you don't need to bring one. I'll let you mirror there as well. I'll put the bathroom light on for you. It's very noisy, the bathroom light. During the night, you won't be able to keep this on. It's too loud. So, the bathroom is perfectly acceptable. As you can see. All of yours. Um, no complaints whatsoever about this room. I'll tell you my thoughts on it. I'll just turn this bathroom light off before the fan kicks in. So, here's my thoughts for yours. Uh, staff, very, very friendly in this hotel. Really nice staff. We've had breakfast every morning, unlimited breakfast, hot and continental for £9.99. I think it's really good value. Breakfast has been perfectly acceptable. Quite nice, actually. Quite enjoyed the breakfast. We had dinner one night, which again I thought was actually reasonable as well. No complaints. It's got a nice bar called the Cookhouse Pub attached to it. It's in a brilliant location. You've got half price car parking if you bring a car. The Talbot Street multi-storey. I parked here for three days. It cost £18. So that's not bad for you. £6 per day parking the car. So overall, I've enjoyed my stay. I quite like Premier Inns anyway. I think they're a decent standard. Everything's been fine here. Got Wi-Fi as well, in case you're wondering. I paid a bit more for this hotel than what I could have if I'd stayed in the main promenade up near the South Shore. If I was coming back to Blackpool again, this is the area I'd like to stay in, the North area. It's quite close to a lot of the good bars. You've got the Bloom Bar at the North Pier. You've got the Central um, Terrace Bar at Central Pier. And you've got all the live music bars around the corner. So, yeah, I'd say I, I've quite enjoyed my stay here. Worth the money, I'd say. On a Friday and a Saturday, you'll pay a bit more for hotels in Blackpool because it's a weekend. Sunday nights are really cheap. So if you ever come here on a Sunday, this room will be very cheap on a Sunday. But bear in mind, most places are pretty quiet on a Sunday. It was quiet last night when we were out and about. Might be busy in the summer when you've got more hens and statues, more groups coming as well. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed a quick room review of the Premier Inn in Blackpool. And um, don't forget on your way out, hit the subscribe button, it's absolutely free. And give it a wee thumbs up, check out all my other hotel reviews on the Hotels and Apartment playlist. I'll leave a wee link up here if you want to binge watch all the hotels I stayed in. The good, the bad and the ugly. There's quite a good variety on the channel. Thanks for watching viewers, we'll see you in the next one.